Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Pilgrim's game with the legend himself, Blue Coffee. He showed up to the stream today and uh, apparently he wasn't just passing. He, he's not often active on the Twitch stream. In fact, the last few times that he's been around, he's played, but that was that was three or four months ago, and we got an epic video out of it. A last game Blue Coffee played. I guess I don't want to spoil games of the past, but I have to. And that was the legend of Blue Coffee continues or returns or something like that. Something Blue Coffee legendary. And he won that game in astounding fashion. He's in the blue. This is Pilgrims, and players need to transport to find new lands. This is Regicide, and this is Diplomacy. This is what we like. Felicia with a $4 dono said, thanks for making my days. You have an awesome voice, by the way. Wish you the best. Thank you for that. Thank you. You're making me blush. Felicia, make me blush. Thank you. Uh, Sally's going to run into wolves. Sally's going to run into wolves, and... Oh! <laughs> He's also going to run into red hair. <laughs> it's like he saw the wolves and he doubled back like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, I think that villager will survive though. Oh, nope. She goes down. I normally introduce the players after they choose their TC locations. But if you haven't seen pilgrims before, you start off with your villagers and your king on a small island. You get a transport that you can use. And then you have to decide on either going to the mainland to start which would slow down your t starting TC or TCing the island. Um, players always choose different strategies. Then it's kind of like Nomad once you get to the mainland. There are a lot of wolves, so you can't venture too far. Red hair's losing two villagers here. Or apparently my, my assessment on the villagers has been off today. He's only going to lose one. But regardless, you never know what's going to be out here. You wander around with your king, you wander around with your villagers, and you hope for the best. You will need allies in these games. They go on for a very long time. Especially when blue coffee's involved, you will want allies in late game. So, I quite like the... I used to say that TCing the starting islands was bad. But I, I think it's good if you still get villagers to the mainland. We'll see. In English, it's coffee with an O and caffeine with an A. In Danish, it's kaffe with A and coffee with O. Just a fun linguistic coffee fact for this hype blue coffee game. Grass.t90 boys hashtag just passing. <laughs> Next game, forest nothing. Next. Oh, man. Digital, thank you, man. Thank you for the tip. I that That's something I've learned today. It's the first thing I've learned today. I haven't learned anything else from you guys. Thank you very much for 10, man. Uh, Neku Bubster, thank, I don't know how to say your name. Thank you for the prime. Thanks for the support, guys. Uh, I'm really considering putting a blue coffee mug on my merchandise website. What do you guys think about that? Because I currently, I don't have a just passing mug, and I think I should have that, and I think I should have a blue one. That would only make sense, right? But regardless, let's get the passings in the chat. Let's get the T90 passings for Blue Coffee, who is just passing over here into some wolves, but he has loom. He's fine. Uh, he's playing as the Koreans. Let's let's go through everybody else. And this is Blue Coffee starting TC. Uh, yellow. We have Rickster. Rickster's playing as the Turks. Uh, green. Rodri is here. Rodri is playing as the Huns. In the purple, we have Cathorian. Cathorian is playing as the Franks. Uh, in the teal, I'm str really struggling to follow what's going on here. But in the teal, we have Lazel. And he's playing as the Aztecs. I can't seem to find his his villagers on the mainland or his TC at all. Am I that blind? No, he just doesn't have one. Okay, okay. Gray, Laboga, Laboga. He's TC the starting island. He's playing as the Spanish. The order to this introduction has not been the best. I apologize. I will improve next next time around. I'll do better. But red hair is way down here in the far corner playing as the Vikings. I think I've addressed everybody now. So Blue Coffee, again, he's a legend of these settings. Almost every single community game he wins, and he wins in astounding fashion. It's not just like pure brute force or skill. It's just strategy. I often said if, if Blue Coffee and Snippy were to have a kid, they don't get offended by this blue coffee or, or snippy but just think about it if those two could combine their genetics into one age of empires player that would be the best player in the world because snippy could 
could snipe the kings and blue coffee would have the strategy i mean not saying that blue coffee hasn't sniped kings but i think he wins more so with his strategy choices it's wise to protect your kings the scouting with your kings is great but uh you could get your king walled in here if you're sally and you are sleeping on the job but kings do have great line of sight so it's great to use your king as a scout for now but it's risky you don't want to run into someone's tc fire most everyone is allied here so i guess you wouldn't be too worried about it but you never know when someone's going to turn you to enemy could happen at any time blue coffee is playing oh ooh, that means my message will be on youtube <laughs> worth the five bucks i love community games hope to get into one one of these days turbo thanks for the five man thank you i mean you don't know. Maybe this maybe this will ruin Blue Coffee's reputation. And, you know, I have a special contract with Blue Coffee that I can only upload his good moments. So... <laughs> Blue Coffee says Orange leave. <laughs> Orange has his king around here. But, yeah, man, thank you for the tip. It probably will go to YouTube because it's Blue Coffee, right? <laughs> uh, Sally, you missed opportunity to say just passing there. But Sally said just scouting. Which I guess is reasonable. Less than three. The tip I always give people when watching these games is if there's deep fish when you're playing Age of Empires 2, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. And eight fishing ships right now for Sally. Not really on deep fish, but that's just due to the poor dock locations. If Sally redocks over here, there's plenty of deep fish and the food income will be priceless. Uh, you can also then redock along the shoreline of the mainland. And access deep fish. So it's something you should be doing all day long. Ah, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Blaze will lose the villager to a wolf as well. So, more T90 woo action. Blazel's TC was incredibly late here. Um, in fact, that puts Blazel way behind everyone else. I'm not sure what happened. I might have missed something. And Blazel only has one death though. So, Blazel began to fish and everything just didn't add a TC. And places a TC on the mainland finally. Uh, funny enough, very close to where Gray has placed a lumber camp with a few villagers. When you place your TC on the starting island, you automatically will have more villagers because you're creating vills right away. Yes. The problem then becomes, can you maintain control of the mainland? Or can you just get it at all? Uh, in some instances, the answer is no, because other people will have their TCs here. So for example, if Blue Coffee were to come here, no, it really wouldn't have a good place to settle down. But I think I think Blue Coffee is in a good position because of this. I really do. No one's around him that can threaten him. And he's walling up very early, so get the T90 walls prepared. And he's looking to take this late game. Now I should point out, because last game that Blue Coffee won, he won with a sneaky wonder. That's right, a sneaky wonder. This is on standard victory conditions, so it is not just about sniping kings, it is also about relic victory and or wonder victory. Not only is T90 an excellent Ocaster, but also top rated player and a gentle lover. Alright, well everything's correct there except the excellent AoE caster. Thank you, Dagul, for the eight months. <laughs> I am a gentle lover, guys. I am. The ghoul has let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Gaslight's on the way for Laboga. Rodri. So those two are doing very well. They have a lightning fast start. They have very good mobile civilizations to use to snipe kings as well. Rodri is looking to add TCs in Castleage, I believe. Sending three to stone because he's only at 50 at the moment. And I believe once he gets to 100, he will use the wood he has to place more town centers. A pretty solid start for Rodri, honestly. Uh, and same could be said for Laboga. And Laboga has so many fishing ships, and he's not stopping with them, which I love. Absolutely love this. So what you can do is... Laboga has his TC on the starting island, right? What he can do is just delete yes. this and rebuild the new one. Uh, or he could continue to create villagers from here. But problem is... He has so many vills here, and eventually they'll be out of all resources. So he probably wants to stop creating from, from this TC at some point. Yes. Actually, what he could also do is this could be his farm TC. And every villager he creates out of here could be building farms. But I don't know if he has the wood to create farms and to fish like he is right now. All right, I want to hear it, chat. 
I want a solid yes or no. Will Blue Coffee win the, another game here? I've rarely rarely seen him lose. He's been gone for months. He showed up to the stream today. We're planning on doing something else. And I saw him and I said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to rig this and you're going to play. I think it's about 50-50. I think some people in the chat are saying yes. And some people are saying no. Idleville says no. He's no longer underestimated. See, that's an interesting point. I think Blue Coffee has been successful because he's good and he's smart, but also because he doesn't play all the time, and so people don't, they're not as familiar with his strats. But Blue Coffee is featured in videos that have hundreds of thousands of views now, so I imagine most people know who he is, but it's very different to, to play versus him, and to think, okay, like for example, if you're Roger, you're probably thinking, oh, this is great, I have TCs, I hit Castle Age first, and Blue Coffee is nowhere to be found, and he is low score and futile. Yeah, but just wait till it gets to late game. But again, what, what makes it interesting is that Blue Coffee is not the best player in terms of skill. He's the best player in terms of strategy, in my opinion. Rickster is trying to go to the back corner with his villager, and she will unfortunately die to the wolves. Araji was considering chasing her, but he's going to let her die. You know what? He could save her somehow. If he builds a house here, if he tries to place a house or a palisade, the wolves will actually de-aggro for a second. Or you could just die. Yes. One or the other. Is this an F moment? I love your fantastic content, D90. Keep it up. Let's get the Fs in the chat for that villager. <laughs> and uh, some T90 woos and T90 babes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, you guys, you take control of chat. I'll let you have control of it. Guys, Snippy has just hit Cat, or not Snippy, I'm sorry. Blue Coffee has just hit Castle Age. And he thinks he's walled this, but he has not. So that could come back to haunt him later on. This is actually open. But as of now, I don't think he'll be too worried. He's sending his king to the mainlands now. Rodri has a great start. Uh, Sally has a great start. Laboga had a fantastic start. Just the fish from Laboga is insane. Look how much food he has in the... Well, I guess he doesn't have much in the bank, guys, but that's because he has eight villagers queued up in this TC and five queued up in this TC, so he really has a ton of food. It's diplomacy, so he'll have allies, and if he trades at some point... He will have the Spanish trade. And I had them do random sieves, for those that might be wondering. So they did not pick sieves here. In late game, the T90 petard emote spam could come into play. Because the elite petards can be used here. So this is not HD balance. This is with the old AOC balance. However, it's with a twist. Uh, trees have twice the amount of wood. Research and caravan is more expensive. That's to discourage players from trading very early. And then petards can be upgraded to elite petard. They could bust down trees. And they can also bust down, bust up units and your king. Red hair and blue coffee are having the best chats ever. I am so jealous, says Filster. I actually have been missing the chat here. Let's, let's look at this. This is always important. I think we have the time, okay? We're not missing anything. It, it gives me a little bit of anxiety when I look at the chat and not the game because I don't want to miss something. Okay, well, let's let's check this out. Blue Coffee says, guys, I will keep the peace on sea. No war. Blazel says heart. And Blue Coffee says, we love peace. Red Hair says, I agree. I like peace very much. And Blue Coffee says, so we should set rule to rule our land. Thorian says, yes, peaceful land. Longest community game in history. Oh, God, no. And Blue Coffee says, any idea on rule? And that's, we're all caught up with the chat now. That scares me. Please don't play as allies for five hours and then fight. That would be a disaster. I have a feeling that game would be incredibly popular, but I would hate my life. I want to see people die. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I know it sounds brutal, but that's what this is about. This is war, right? So we want death. <laughs> Now, the last time Blue Coffee won, he was almost killed off of the mainland. He lost virtually everything. He controlled an island on the way back. 
and he built a wonder there. On the sides of his islands, he had docks with galleys, and he had towers, and he controlled that wonder for wonder victory. So, he said he wants to control water. He could be going for a similar strategy. He is Korean, so they have their insane towers, and they have their turtle ships. They could do well on water. I guess we will see. Oopsie Scoops, he says, Real talk, would you ever force a community game to stop if it goes on for too long? Uh, I wouldn't force them to stop, but I would leave a game. I've done that in the past, but I don't do that all too frequently nowadays. I think the rules we set up for community games are pretty good. Sometimes in King of the Hill, you have one person win easily, but for the most part, the games are always entertaining. I'd like to give myself some credit for that, because it's not easy to, to talk about things as frequently as I have to. Uh, not being conceited, but I, I like to believe that what I do and the way I do things makes it interesting for myself and others. But... Um, yeah, as well, I think the players now and, and just the settings are, can be more entertaining. So, the Boga, he's been told the tale. He knows about blue coffee, and he has conquistadors here. And this is where, this is where that wall emote really helps out, guys. Uh, blue coffee knows that he needs to protect himself. Again, because he's not the strongest player. And so he does need the time. Wall nice and early if you're blue coffee. It's either blue coffee or Tim, I'm not sure. Laboga has the strongest start. Uh, he's also in a very strong position defensively with these castles. Yeah, his king is in the castle. So, three castles soon for him. Rodri has the better eco, though. And Rodri is actually making a few knights right now. Well, I say better eco. I guess Laboga has 20 more fishing ships. And Rodri has 30 more vills. And vills are probably better long term. But. I still think the fish are doing a good thing for Gray. If I'm Gray, I dock here. Oh, it actually, <laughs> it looks like he tried and he got T90 wooed. Um, yeah, I dock here and then I send the fishing ships down to these fish, which are closer. It's slightly more efficient. Efficient. Get it? It's great. That fish joke might float by some of you, but others will probably get it. Oh, what are they saying in the chat here? Blue Coffee says, so, who wants to be king? Sally says, I'll take the role of the king's loyal servant. Blue Coffee says, sure. Rickster says, oh boy. Kathorian says, green. And Blue Coffee says, let's start trade. Ah, Kathorian saying, why are you building a siege workshop here? Good point. <laughs> Good point. A Kathorian is also playing the fat slob style of mass stonewalling. And you know what? This section of land is great for Kathorian. Oh, the trade cogs are going to to green already. And uh, there's stone, there's gold, there's plenty of farm space. This isn't bad for Kathorian. Jade Arrow says, you officially suck at jokes. Officially. I, I see what you're doing, man. I see what you're doing. Well played. I was going to say the same joke, but I'll let you fin-ish. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not gill Ting you guys into more fish jokes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good are these jokes? How much are you cringing right now? I could keep going. I could keep going. I'll stop, though. I'll stop. New TCs for Blazel. He had that slow start, remember? The second TC on land. He has no TC on the starting island. He's pretty far behind in population, as is Rickster, by the way. Oh, man. And... Villagers going down to wolves everywhere you look. The funny thing is, Twitch chat acts like... See, it makes you cringe, right? You guys act like you don't like it, and then a lot of you guys think, Hmm, I, I've thought of quite a few puns myself, and then you guys join in. It's a disease. <laughs> That's what it is. I've infected you with dad joke syndrome. Hmm. So there's there's been... Some conversation between Blue Coffee and Red Hair, who are kind of close together, and Rickster. But I apologize for the yawn. I'm just tired of all the dad jokes. I need I need my nap. That's what it is. Um, you know, Laboga hasn't said a word. 
and he's second strongest in the game. And Rodri hasn't said a word, and Rodri's going to be going for Paladin. He's, he's about to hit him. Paladin and Cav Archer. He's Hun, so that's that's the way to play it. Yes. Will this be the classic uh, mistake of attacking someone too early? If you're Rodri. Thorian, red hair, Sally, they all want peace. <laughs> They're talking about it. Roger says, purple, we okay, won't attack. Red hair said, I see you, orange. And look, no aggression from me because we are buddies. And Sally says, yes, we are. So this is kind of how things start out. This is historically accurate. For a game that interested me because of history, this is pretty accurate. You know, first the, the scouts meet up and they say, oh, who are you from? Who, where are you from? They communicate. They send trade between the towns. They trade various goods. It seems like it's mainly gold, but I'm sure there's other things in there mixed in with the gold. And then eventually someone gets greedy and they want the power. And that normally is blue coffee. In this case, it could be Roger, it could be Laboga. And then diplomacy doesn't matter too much. And <laughs> here we go. It's it's Rodri. I kind of expected. The green is going to be a bully here. And red hair says, green, why are you neutral? So I really don't know if this is wise from Rodri. I know that killing people is always good for space. Yes. But Sally says, green does not like peace, I see. And now blue coffee, he's disappointed to hear that. Don't po poke the hornet's nest, Rodri. <laughs> Sally says my people are being terrorized. I love it when people chat because it really makes you worse at the game because you have to, you know, type, press enter and type. But it's more entertaining for us, so I can appreciate that. And Rodri, if he sold some wood, would be able to afford Paladin. So this is, this is trouble for Sally. Sally's making a lot of pikemen, but that still won't be enough. I don't care how pointy these boys are. That will not be enough. So maybe Sally needs to... <laughs> Sally needs to run somewhere else and take the trade cards with you. That's a lot of trade cards that aren't being used. Holy cow, where's he trying to send these things? Oh, he's trying to send them to Gray, but he can't get through. Because of Blue Coffee's walls. Blue Coffee has completely walled him out. Also, there used to be a gap here. Blue Coffee got fortified wall, and he is not letting Orange in. And, and this is affecting Red's trade and Orange's trade, which is kind of funny. Sally says, if anyone could provide me some food against Green, I'd take that as a kindly gift. And Blue Coffee gives him food. What a nice guy. Well, Blue Coffee, he's more of a coffee drinker anyway. He doesn't, he doesn't eat too much. He's just living on the caffeine high, so it's not too important to him. And Blue Coffee is adding stables. And he's in the Imperial Age now. Not doing much else at the moment. He's not even trading. <clears throat> hmm. This is the calm before the storm, guys. Well, I guess there's a lot of storming <laughs> at Sally's base, but it's relatively calm. Relatively calm game. Poor Sally can't run with his king. He can't get through. If he can't get through with the trade cards, he can't get through with the king. And Blue Coffee says, okay, Purple, let's start trade. And Purple said, I'm trading with your doc. And he's trading with Rodri. And so I guess now Blue Coffee's looking to start trade with Purple, who's on the other side of the map, which is interesting. No Paladin for Rodri. These are Japanese pikemen, so he probably wants to pull back with the Cavalier here and let the, the Cav Archers clean the infantry. He doesn't really need to fight that. But even though he does fight it and lose a lot of Cavalier, he will end up killing the pikemen, and the king is right there. Whoops! <laughs> and the king is now safe! <laughs> and Sally says T90, fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong here. He's about to hit Imp. 
with uh, a different TC, obviously. He's trying to reboom as much as possible down here, but he's struggling to follow it all. That would have sucked if it was his MTC. It was not, so he will hit the Imperial Age. So, really, he just needs to go into Halbin Skirm here, I think. Rodri is on the warpath now. Where's the trade at from Orange? Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no! Blue Coffee's walls are making this so damn complicated, man. Orange got through one layer of Blue Coffee walls, but he, he can't get through this layer now. Blue Coffee is keeping it safe for himself, but he's making everyone else deal with his shit. The king will run, and Sally's building another castle. I just don't know if Sally can survive here. Uh, Rodri seems to have forgotten about his trebuchets, so he might lose one or two. It's still not a great situation for Sally to point out the obvious. How much gold does Kathorian have? He's getting 51 gold per trade cog trip. And he's also walled up the shoreline. <laughs> he is... He's taking full wall to the next level here. It's smart though, he doesn't want anyone to transport. Bukafi says, dude, we live peacefully under king rule. And Laboga says I'm peaceful, which I somehow doubt, but that's what he says. He's getting plate barding armor and ballistics now, conquistadors, and paladin. So, Laboga, this is no joke. This army is no joke for him. The one thing I'll say about Laboga is he does not have a lot of space. So if someone surprises him with an attack and he loses a couple buildings, he'll lose most of his base. Red hair in the south. He also doesn't have a lot of space, in all honesty. Uh, he is currently researching Elite Berserk, which would be fun to see. And he is trying to trade with... I'm yes. apparently blind. I am T90 dad after all. I can't see where this market is going. Green maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, back to the action. Skirmishers, they are lacking a lot of upgrades for Sally. Whose population is relatively decent considering that Sally's lost the majority of his base. Halberdiers and Skirms can hold against this, but once the Sea Dreams come into play, that's where it gets tough. That's where it gets tough. Because you can only really use the Halbs versus Sea Dreams. It takes a long time to kill them, and in that amount of time, the Cav Archers will kill your Halbs. And honestly, the Skirms don't have any defense upgrades. Oh, where are you going with the King? Woo! The Skirms don't have any defense upgrades. They have one attack upgrade, so this, this should all die for Sally. And the King will run away to the transport, so Sally will survive. Wait, is this the mod where you can put units in transport? In, uh... Philster, I don't think that's the one. Okay, yeah. Philster, I felt bad for a second because I thought I didn't tell the players, but you can't put units in trade cards in this one. We can do that in the next one, though. Blue Coffee's banking up resources. 190 population. He's researching Onager, so he'll... He'll go for Siege Onager soon after that, I imagine. Uh, orange. <laughs> orange with the weirdest trade route ever. Oh, man, look at this. He has to go the whole way around. And that's going to be for what? It's, if it's going to this market, four gold. So he, he goes the whole way around for four gold. Oh, man. And that's all because of Blue Coffee's walls. There is an Elite Petard mod on. Correct, yes. Yeah, so they can do that. Oh, this is interesting. Blue Coffee's building a castle here. Not bad, not bad. He's neutral to Rodri. He's not enemied or allied, but he is neutral to Rodri. So the castles should go up. Sally says, the barbarian hordes are pushing our borders. My refugees need space. <laughs> um, I believe his king is back on the starting island, so at least he has that. Look at that trade. I can't get over that, man. He's getting four gold per trip, but he has to go the whole way around. So it, the amount of gold you get with your trade is not based on how long the trade cart's journey is. It's the distance between the markets. And for that reason, this is one of the most inefficient trade routes you'll ever see. 
But there's not much he can do about it because blue coffee. So. Yoked Potato Man, what's up? Welcome to the stream, my friends. Welcome. Blue Coffee's getting Warwolf, which is the Elite Petard upgrade. I, it's originally for Britons in Wolo Kingdoms, but we're not using that mod. Ooh, and he's doing it again, guys. I'm pretty sure he's going for the same strategy he did before. Look, he's cleaning up the islands. His island has a bunch of keeps here, and he's protecting his king. Now, this, this time around, he has more lands control. But I believe he wants to eventually shift out to water and build a wonder. But you can't do that too early because then people can snipe it. So it has to has to be at the right time. Okay, now where are these things going? All right, so this is a bit better, I guess. Sally's, wait a second. Wait a second. No, no, not back to these markets. Sally, what are you doing? I guess he deleted the, the other market and now all of his trade with all of his gold is going back towards his enemy. It's alright, he, he's getting more gold than he would have, I guess. And the cav archers haven't haven't really reacted. Because the cav archers are, are busy attacking this TC. Alright. Well, it's not the worst situation for Sally. Lots of resources. At least Sally has an ally in Blue Coffee. I don't know how long that will last, but he has an ally. Okay, Blue Coffee says, Gray, Teal, Private. We need to ally to fight Green. So this would be good for Blue Coffee because he's then getting Gray on his side. And, and Gray is going to be very tough to deal with. So Blue Coffee is going to trust Gray and let Gray in. And he's going to trust Teal. These are... Two players who might otherwise want to kill Blue Coffee. However, Blue Coffee realizes he's vulnerable, so he's going to play Diplomacy. This is why I like Blue Coffee. It's not because of his micro or because of his booming skills. It's because of his Diplomacy. And so far, this game has been pretty fun with Diplomacy. Because the players have been talking up a storm. <gasps> oh god, but this, this is not good. This is not good. Elite Cannon Galleons, Demos, and Galleons. This... This is a navy that wants to kill Blue Coffee, I'm pretty sure. Blue Coffee needs to see that. Because I don't think that army will yes. just pass. Let my people seek refuge in your castle. Red Hair says, <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> so now... <laughs> I love how Sally, instead of just running towards his ally, he says stuff. That's so great. <laughs> So now Sally has villagers in this castle. I really want Sally to do well in this game just because of how entertaining he has been in the chat. Uh, the villagers are now running off to a different area. I kind of forgot about Rickster, man. Uh, Rickster has to deal with this one Seedrim from Rodri. Rickster has this nice little base. Um, hopefully there's no drops. I'd like to keep every player in this game. Oh, I jinxed it. Damn. Um, all right, so let's try and restore this. I'm not sure what happens. Drops happen. We'll just restore it. Let me go back. Let's look at the achievements while we have the, the time. Look at the eco difference. That's the most important thing. Blue coffee with the most gold. Actually, I don't want to show too much because people who have dropped have probably pulled up the stream, so... Gray out of sync. That's so weird how there's been out of syncs lately. They're all here. They're just... They'll restore it. I think they'll be able to restore it. I hope they'll be able to restore it. Really, I just wanted this to be a commercial break to let you guys know that if you, your friend, your mother, your father has Amazon Prime, you can link it with Twitch and get one free sub to a streamer a month. It's a great way to support my stream or any other stream and not have to give anything out of your own pocket. So now that that commercial break is open or over, we can open up the game. <laughs> Drink Saturo. Oh, man. I'm not a fan of any meal replacements because I used to work in an industry that used them. So I'm... 
that's one topic, one thing outside of Age of Empires I know a lot about. So let's see. Cathorian said T T90, be honest, who's your favorite to win now? <laughs> okay, cool, they're going to restore. So assuming it works, we should be right back in the game. Yeah, Maya, and that's unfortunate for those that have Amazon Prime in India. Because there's a lot of viewers that watch this stream from India. It's unfortunate. But yeah, sorry about the drop. I couldn't do anything about it, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the game so far. Drunk stream T90 this weekend with Nilly and Dave, please. No, no drunk stream this weekend. Uh, speaking of upcoming streams, tomorrow there will be a show match. I still have to figure out the settings. It'll be kind of last minute between New Brazil Clan. Uh, it'll be, I believe, Miguel, VH, and Fire versus Aftermath. Uh, there will be three Aftermath players. I don't know exactly who will be playing from Aftermath because Hart said they'd only have three. However, uh, it will do a show match similar to what we did last week. Um, or not last week, on Sunday. Saturday will be Escape Champions League all day on my stream. It'll be on the Escape stream as well, but I will not be casting for the Escape stream on Saturday. So from... 14 GMT or 10 a.m. EST to about 4 or 5 in the evening EST. And I don't know exactly what it is GMT. It'll be a long day. I will be streaming here. So the next few days we'll have some pretty insane games coming up. Is Riot with LOS? Well, LOS is... Riot is with the Brazilian clan as well. Uh, it's called Brazookas or I forget the exact name. Maybe someone in the Twitch chat can tell me. But yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, if you happen to be hearing that on YouTube... The uh, YouTube, you, you'll probably see it on YouTube if it's good games, but you, you're probably a little bit too late to see it live. But we're back in the game, and hold on. Blue Coffee is just changed? Hold on, hold on a second. We're back in the game, and immediately, Gray uses his navy to turn on Blue Coffee, so this is a shitstorm. This is a shitstorm. Blue Coffee gets his king and starts running away. And now he has to defend against Gray's Conquistadors and Paladins. I don't know if he can do that. He only has Korean Cavalier. He's losing castles. His king is safe for now. But man, this escalated quickly. Uh, elsewhere, there's not a lot of action. There's not a lot going on. Just on this side. And Blue Coffee says 14 Teal. He signals Gray. And he's saying, listen Teal, you need to help me out. And Teal doesn't have to do this. Teal does not have to do this. He does not have to turn on Gray, but he does. He does turn on Gray, and with the Arbalest and the Monks here, assuming he uses them effectively, he could really help out. If he were to get a conversion with every Monk, that would maybe save Blue Coffee. And Blue Coffee says rule. Now, he's not happy his rule has been broken, but hey, like, why should you play by Blue Coffee's rules, right? Why should you do that? As Sally's building up on water as we speak, Gray, I guess, has lost the majority of his navy there. It's so interesting how Red Hair is just passing through all this. Like, Red Hair is, is now trading with Orange's market as Orange is slowly dying in that area. There we go, there's some conversions. Oh, hold on a second! Gray just changed Teal to enemy. Gray didn't change Teal to enemy until now. So he lost a lot of his units. He lost trebuchets, actually. And you know what? His king is in here. Wouldn't it be something if Teal converted these trebs, used the trebs to kill the castle, and then killed the king? Green is crying out for peace. This is all happening so fast. And Rodri, he wants Red as an ally now, I guess. Blue Coffee's king is in his castle and he's making lots of onagers and the lack of trade is really going to catch up with him I think Natil he's only at 60 population he tried to help Blue Coffee yes <laughs> Blue Coffee says Grey will be punished by God listen man what do you call when a cow jumps over barbed wire Destruction, no. I know you're good, Blue Coffee, but don't call yourself a god. I believe you, though. 
I believe you. And Laboga says, I'm sorry, Blue. Blue Coffee says, no, give me relic then or gold. So Blue Coffee is demanding that he gets resources from Gray. Gray regrets his decision. Gray's actually out of gold. And he doesn't have any relics to give either. So Blue Coffee again, playing diplomacy as it should be played. And he says, no, we had a good thing going and you ruined it. Give me resources. And Gray has not responded to that yet. Gray has not responded to that request. I mean, meanwhile, on the other side, Cathorian has an insane amount of resources with trebuchets and elite petards ready to go after green, I imagine, at some point. Blazel's king is dead. It, it died right there. And really, he, he at least goes out with some honor because he was defending Blue Coffee, but he's probably... <laughs> he's probably a bit upset about that, you know? He's probably a bit upset about that. Artemis plays. Thank you for the 67 viewer host. Welcome to the stream. And to those just coming in, this is a pilgrims game. It is free for all. It is regicide. It is diplomacy. Uh, there's a lot going on. And you just missed yes. Gray trying to kill Blue Coffee. Blue Coffee saved his king. It's in this castle. And Gray subsequently killed Teal as Teal was defending Blue Coffee. Um, no other big moves as of now. But yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. Thanks for being here. So Blue Coffee's still not in a great spot. I know his score is decent because it's third. But without trade in these games, it's going to be tough for him. He definitely wants to have his king here safe. He's building more keeps. Um, and I don't know what the decision was on Gray. He's, he's now allied to Gray, I guess. But Gray has not given him resources as far as I know. I would not trust Gray if I were Blue Coffee, and if I were, if I were Gray, I wouldn't trust Blue Coffee either. But you know, I, I think that's why Gray turned on Blue Coffee in the first place because he knows how good he is late game. So elsewhere we have Rodri. Rodri has probably played the best so far. I think that's fair to say. Uh, plenty of map control, plenty of military, almost always a 200 population. His king is in this castle, which is the safest castle he has, and. I'm just waiting for purple to turn on him, really. It's gonna happen at some point. Yes. Ooh. And Blue Coffee's focusing on killing enemy docks out here. Okay. Muggsy says Red sent massive tribute to Orange. Good guy, Red. Did he do that? Maybe that's why Orange has these resources. It's possible I missed it. Thank you very much for the... Uh, the info there. I miss stuff, so it's nice to have chat. <laughs> it's really nice to have chat. If I didn't have chat, sometimes I'd miss things and it would never be mentioned, and then 25 people in the YouTube comments would say, uh, you missed this at minute 12. No. So thanks, man. Red has a lot of gold to give, and I assume it's because of the trade he's been going for. It has really worked out for him. As inefficient as it's been, it has added up over time. He has 87 villagers, lots of wood, lots of food, lots of gold, lots of stone. So that's probably as good as it'll get for him this game. But he's Vikings, and Vikings versus Hansa can be tough. But I believe that red is, is allying green now. Wait. You change diplomatic stance with Rodri to ally. And <laughs> Wait, what's happening here? They're, are they, they're getting so confused. So are they friends or are they enemies? Are we are they on a break? Green is no longer attacking red, and red hair doesn't seem to realize that. I think I think green misclicked. <laughs> red is too busy typing. Red is too busy typing. He's like, why such lies? Top 10 anime betrayals. And green's like, bro, I'm allied to you, man. Stop it. And Red still has not changed his diplomatic stance, though I think he will probably do so soon. Blue Coffee has just changed green to, to ally at the same time, so a lot of things are changing. And uh, Rickster is trading on water. Cathorian's trading on water. I'm just waiting to see if anyone else will join in there. Because it is a party on this side, seriously. I mean, the trade cogs could get picked off at any point by Navy, but that's a lot of trade. 
Drewski says, hey all, how have this week's games been good so far? Also, T90 Love at T90 Fish. What's up, Rick? Uh, not Rickster. Drewski. Game's been good today, man. Game's been good. Guys, I have so much on my plate. I have so much I want to talk about. And uh, I recall five minutes ago wanting to talk about the fact that Blue Coffee was given relics. Gray did give him a relic. Um, and he just picked up... He had two. I think he's relocating them. From wherever he had them so he's going to take them to a safer place i guess here we go is he gonna put them in a transport if he puts them in a transport and takes them to the island that'd be pretty sick artemis place says i guess you don't remember me i do remember you actually i uh i didn't really know that you you streamed a month or two ago I think you were stop you, you were stopping by the stream every now and then, but I didn't know you streamed. I was looking on Twitch yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I saw you streaming. Nice stream you have. Sally is, I guess, teaming up with Red here. Seems like it. <laughs> Red hair is being. Look at this. He says, OMG, sorry, misclick. Sorry, green, misclick, green. Eh, green, misclick, right? For reals. <laughs> he doesn't believe that green misclicked earlier, apparently. So as he attacks green intentionally, he says it's a misclick. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and Blue Coffee is taking everything to this island. So he needs room for a monastery. But once he gets that, his relics will be somewhat safe. And he's building up on this island now. So again, we saw this from Blue Coffee in the past. He's building up on islands. That's the way to do it. Uh, at least for him. At least for him. Red hair is always so active in the chat. I love the guy. Honestly, everyone in this game... Well, not everyone, but the majority of people have been active in the chat. And it makes it more fun for me. He says, I see your king green. And his king is here. But I think green's just fine. Rodri has Hussars and CA being created. Honestly, could afford Paladin and CA. He has so much gold. Actually, where is he getting his gold from? Is it just the two relics? I think that's it. Blue Coffee says, Gray, give me a hand to orange. So Blue Coffee, so far, has kind of stuck to his motto of peacekeeping. <clears throat> I forget exactly what the phrase was earlier, but he wanted to keep the peace. I just, I don't get why he's not trading, you know? I, I think a guy like Blue Coffee would trade. But I guess not. We give a hand to help Orange. Such a good guy, Blue Coffee. Such a good guy. Orange is doing just fine, though. Why Why are you... Is Orange dying somewhere? <laughs> I don't know, but here comes Gray with a bunch of Hussars. Green could get sniped if he's not careful. This is quite a game, my friends. This is quite a game. Maybe they want to team up on Green. That's what it is. Purple is just saying a moment ago how he's losing trade carts, or trade cogs, rather, to Orange's ships. And, um, uh, I don't think he should be complaining too much. He has 11,000 gold. He's been trading virtually the entire game. So I don't think he should be complaining too much. <laughs> Green says Gray, just passing, and Gray says yes. So here we go. That's our first real just passing moment in this game with Blue Coffee. Oopsie Scoops, he says, little known fact, but Blue Coffee is actually named that way because AWE2 censored the original name Blue Ass Coffee. I don't, I don't believe your fun fact, Oopsie Scoopsie. I don't believe it. But, interesting if true. <laughs> I don't think Gray wants to ally green. Why is he here? Why would you send Hussars into someone's eco and just sit there?
purple is the real sleeping giant of this game. Frank Paladins, Cab Archers to Snipe Kings, and uh, he's played this extremely safe. So, in all honesty, I would be communicating. If I was one of the players, I would say, listen, purple might not be attacking anyone, but he's been trading the entire game and he's stonewalled around his whole base. I think we need to team up on him. That doesn't happen too often. I think that the guys who are very passive, they, they aren't seen as a threat, so they end up holding onto those resources. But at the same time, I've seen time and time again that players will hold on to resources for long periods and then they won't have the skill to use them. So I guess it's a strategy choice if you feel like you're a weaker player. I don't know if Kathorian is weak or not because we haven't seen Kathorian really move much this game. Sally says, are we being tyrant now? I thought that was secret, but okay. Yes. New tyrant players, Blue Coffee, Kathorian, and Sally T. Since tyrant is no longer... <laughs> since tyrant no longer has players, it's being replaced by Blue Coffee. Who wouldn't want to see tyrant Blue Coffee? Smart move from Green to ask Gray to move out of here. Oh my goodness, red hair with sea trams, but he's nothing protecting it. Okay, here we go. They really want to kill Rodri, don't they? These sea drams are just getting thrown away. And here come the elite petards. So this is the first time we'll see them this game. This is with a special mod we're using that makes the petards faster. They're a lot stronger, both in HP and attack. But that's not going to be enough right there. Sally and Red Hair, better love story than Twilight. All game, they've been allies. All game, they've been working together. Now that's a lot of petards. I think it only takes five elite petards to kill a castle. One or two to kill a building. And just a few to destroy an entire army. And that's all Red Hair's going for. Petard after petard after petard. Forget the berserks. This is what I want to see. When a mod like this is used, utilize the mod. I love this. Oh god, Green needs to be careful. Green needs to be careful. Oh my god. If he explodes... All the cab archers will die, the treps will die. The king's running away now. The king was in that uh, that castle. All of the cab archers and treps just get obliterated. And this is just buying blue coffee time to build up to what he needs to do. Gray as well, who might go for blue coffee snipe at some point. Rickster is he's chilling out here with lots of military. I don't know exactly what Blue Coffee and Yellow are, are laughing at right now. Uh, probably not anything on land, most likely on water. But, you know, yeah, the Elite Petards are OP, but Green could do that as well. So it's not it, it's not like Green's at a disadvantage here. You could also make them, and he's not doing that. And now here comes Gray, and I think Gray will turn on Green. So Rodri, who is top scorer, he's taking some big losses now. Just losing his farmers and lumberjacks here would be huge. He's guaranteed to lose 50 villagers if, if these guys turn on him. Blue Coffee says, remember to thank me, Yellow, about here. And he signals this as if to imply that he let Yellow live or he let Yellow trade. And that's Blue Coffee saying, don't turn on me. <laughs> that's what he's doing there. Elite turtle ships and galleons for blue coffee. He's at 200 population. He has two relics. He has 18 trade cogs. Or trade carts, I think. I think he's trading with trade carts. Uh, no, it's trade cogs. Oh, it's a mix. Anyway, well, he has 18 trade units. Oh. <gasps> Don't say it. Don't say it. I think Orange wants to snipe Blue Coffee soon. He has Navy. He has Petards. And my guess is that he's going to make Arbalest. And Blue Coffee's King is here, right? Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was there. 
Oh, okay. Nice move. Nice move. Nice move. He has monks in there. So one would assume that the king is there. But the king is still here. Okay, okay, okay. So we can be loud again. Great. Still at any point could use leap petards and snipe that king. And Gray has turned on green. So he's focusing on that for now. He's just raiding the economy, really. It's kind of hard to to separate the, the gray and the green here, but <clears throat> all gray needs to do is kill villagers. He doesn't need to kill army, he needs to kill villagers. And damn it, there must be another drop. I wonder why this is happening. I imagine all the players are here, and uh, it's just an out of sync issue. Hmm, well, I mean, we restored it last time. We can restore it again. It kind of sucks, but I, I uh, can only assume it's the mod that's doing this. Oh man, this is right when purple's making a move versus green as well. Unfortunate timing. Oh, actually. Who's gone here? I think we lost somebody. Let's go back. We'll figure it out. I'm not going to show the achievements because I don't want players to pull up the stream while we're restoring this. We'll restore it, and it should just take a few minutes. Oopsie Scoopsie says, Last time the game dropped, Gray used it as a smoke screen for a surprise attack. Who's it going to be this time? <laughs> I don't think he used it as a smoke screen, but... We have six players in the game, though. It was Blaze who had, who had died. Who are we missing? We have Blue Coffee, Cathorian, Laboga, Red Hair, Rickster, and Sally. So it would be Roger, actually. And we need him. We need Rodri, for sure. Well, Reaper, unfortunately, with all these awesome mods, uh, it does... It changes the game a lot. So, with this one, you have a few additional units and a couple upgrades that are affected. And with other mods as well, they can be out of sync, especially with the maps. Um, but it is weird, because we've done this mod quite a few times. I'm not sure why we're having out of syncs today. Is Rodri in the Twitch chat? I don't see Rodri. Um, let's wait 60 seconds. And if Rodri doesn't come back, we'll restore without him. I'm pretty sure he's going to die anyway. <laughs> uh, because everyone is about to attack him. But I guess I shouldn't have said that if he's going to be here. But he's not in the Twitch chat. He's not in the game room. So I can only imagine he's gone. So maybe his internet dropped. Majuxen says, Team 90 Official, Donnie will stream AOE2 on RBTV in 20 minutes. Ask him to join the next game. Hey, man. You guys ask him. We have enough people who would want to see it. You can ask him. I could get him in here. However, I think if he's streaming it on Rocket Beans, he probably doesn't have Voobly set up. So, I, I know, per, actually on his own stream, he's not a fan of Boobly. So, Donnie needs to get Boobly sorted, and then we could do a lot of cool stuff. Okay, I guess we'll restore without him. Maybe his internet dropped. That's a bummer. I think he was dead, though, right, chat? I think he was dead. Purple is about to attack him with endless resources. He was already, Green was already getting raided by Gray. And this is before Red would show up with more petards and potentially blue coffee. So I think it, the end was near for green. Captain says, how did you come up with your name? Uh, good question. My name comes from the T90 football line or soccer line. I'm a huge... I don't know where you're from. So if you're from anywhere but America or Australia, you probably call it sport football. Here we call it soccer. So I am a huge soccer fan. Love to play the sport. And growing up, there was a there were T90 lasers, which were my favorite cleats. So when I started gaming, I just had T90 accounts for whatever reason. And I haven't gotten big enough yet for Microsoft to sue. I'm not Microsoft. <laughs> I hope Microsoft doesn't sue me. And Nike to sue me for using T90. I think I missed a few shout outs throughout the day. The person, thank you for two months. Thank you for the resubs today, guys. Warpig, thank you. I'm pretty sure I gave a shout out to Warpig. 
Atomic Sausage, I definitely missed this. Thank you for gifting the sub to Naz Trebla. Jaws, thank you for three. Oh, dude, I heard your joke earlier and I forgot to go back to it. He said, what do you call when a cow jumps over barbed wire? Utter destruction. T90 dad. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, Martian as well. Thank you, Martian, for seven. Really appreciate you guys subbing to the stream and supporting what I do here. The game will be restored shortly. I say shortly, and it's, it's actually going to be now. I hope we didn't miss... Well, I guess all the action was going no. to be a green space, so we didn't miss that much, right? Yeah, purple pulled his army back, and green is unfortunately dead, so... Ah, uh, green is an unfortunate... Wait! Did they do the wrong restore file? <laughs> yeah, they did the wrong restore file. They need to go back, that's funny. They restored from before. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize. I guess purple's base was unchanged. Purple's base has looked like this all game. But I didn't even think of it. I'm... I kind of wish they wouldn't have realized because it would have taken me an embarrassing amount of time to realize myself. <laughs> I'm sure it would have found some explanation for it. Like, oh, we probably missed 60 seconds of the game during the restore and we missed a ton of shit. Yeah, I probably would have said something like that. Anyway, they'll choose the right restore file and they'll start here. <laughs> Red hair is already worried about the YouTube video. He said, don't worry, guys. I'm sure when this gets to YouTube, it will be nice and neat. Sally says, yeah, T90 will cut it together. Oh, will I? <laughs> oh, will I? Yeah, I might. I might. Depends on how it finishes. If Blue Coffee wins, guarantee. Because Blue Coffee wins are, at the very least, clickbait nowadays. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Artemis plays, says, T90 Fischl, got to sleep, unfortunately. Wish you the great rest of your stream. See you. All right, thanks for the host. Have a nice night. <clears throat> Dude, Colonial, I'm still working on it, man. I, I have so much on my plate right now. Like, I put... I have this huge plan to create all these videos, all these reviews, all this shit, and then I get overwhelmed, and I just shut down. <laughs> and on top of that, I... um. I'm planning a trip to North Carolina, as I said, which will be in mid-September now, and uh, California, which will be in October. So I have a lot of stuff, like, I have a lot of pressing issues, so I promise I will let you know when I know I'm, when I'm going down to North Carolina. Britannicus says, aren't you contractually ob obligated to upload any and all Blue Coffee ones to YouTube? Well... Uh, there's no contract, but Blue Coffee did say he'd kill my king if I didn't, so. I decided that that would be best for my health. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully they have the right restore file. And... Yes, okay, so this is where we left off. They've restored the game, and unfortunately Green is a casualty of technology. He dropped, uh, might be internet, PC related, I'm not sure. But as I was telling Twitch chat a moment ago, I'm pretty sure he was already going to die. So it doesn't change the result too much. Community demo games. T90 salute. Tato, if you'll be around, man, I can get you into the next one. Thank you for 19 months, man. So yeah, green's dead. Green's dead. So there's a lot of real estate, very cheap real estate people want to take advantage of now. Uh, as a quick refresher, starting from the right hand... Well, hold on a second. What is this? Oh, hold on a second. I need to see where these are going. Okay, they're they're literally just passing. Uh, starting on the right hand side, Gray. He has lots of petards, lots of resources. He's looking good. He's right next to Blue Coffee. Blue Coffee does not have the resources. His king is here. They are allied at the moment. Yellow... He sent his camels forward, but it's just towards a dead guy now, so I don't know where he's going, exactly. And Blue Coffee says, we better focus purple, he trade all game. And that's true. That's true. And Blue Coffee, wise to recognize that, he has the ships down here and he wants to kill that trade soon, I guess. 
And if Blue Coffee can get everyone to, to work towards the western shore, then he won't be troubled. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's probably what he's thinking. Snack Shack. We did... We did Fire and Miguel versus six people in the community before, and it wasn't even close. Fire and Miguel completely steamrolled. <laughs> like, the game was over in minute 20. Uh, so... Yeah, Tato and Miguel versus six people in the community probably would not be very close either. No offense to you guys, but Tato and Miguel are good. So when does Blue Coffee make his move, and how does he do this? Because he doesn't gain any big advantages from doing this, personally. He... He doesn't have good trade himself, so... I don't know! You still gotta think that Blue Coffee's gonna find a way, but... Almost everyone around him is stronger than him. Even Sally's in a better position with more gold, so... I don't think score is a good indicator of people's positions. Tato, these are elite petards. So they're faster. They have more HP and they do more damage. They also explode trees. So earlier, three petards went off next to a ball of cav archers and about 40 cav archers died. You would like these things. So this blue coffee guy uh, in a community yes. game with MBL on pilgrims, he killed MBL by sniping MBL's castle with petards and then using Celt cav archers at the time. That's what it was. Yeah, it's demos on land essentially. So all you need to do, Tato, is you need to research uh, chemistry, and then after you research chemistry in your castle, you can upgrade to Elite Petard. I, I think Green would have died, but had Green been using Petards, then maybe he would have lived. He wasn't doing that, though, which was yes. a big mistake. So what are they talking about here? Blue Coffee says Purple is preparing for late game 11. Blue Coffee's... He's smart to point this out. He's definitely right. Okay, so in my opinion, Purple's playing way too passive, though. He has the resources to be using them now. Okay, Petards, Cav Archers, and Paladins. They're Frank Paladins. And Elite Petards. Look at these trade cogs, man. See, Blue Coffee wants to... <laughs> this is insane. If you want to know what rush hour is like on the water... Yes. This is it right here. Damn. See, Blue Coffee needs to trade himself. So... He can't really turn on purple here. Because then he won't have anyone to trade with. More like trade clogs, am I right? Oh my, oh, oh my goodness, Gray. Gray is going for it. Now, don't use all your petards on one house. I've seen that mistake. People just click and <laughs> they'll end up wasting petards. Okay, I think Purple sees this. Yeah, Purple realizes this army is not just passing. Purple realizes that the petards were going to go through the houses and the trees. And Gray. I mean, he could try to go through the trees and the walls quickly, or he could just go after army. Well, he's not attacking, right? He's just trying to run away. <laughs> oh my god, that's where you want your melee units to be uninvolved. You want the ranged units to be getting the snipes. So yeah, that's a lot of dead pink bodies. Doesn't matter for Kithorian though, he has 15k gold. Blue Coffee says, LOL, yellow, I saved you. Why is he saying that? I think he's extremely paranoid, Blue Coffee. And he sees that yellow has these buildings around him that are garrisoned. Rickster says, got no gold, which is a lie. Which is a lie, but it's believable. I guess he was stealing this gold. That's what it was. <laughs> he has 4,000 gold. That's right, he has a good poker face. He's trading here, and Rickster's also trading on water. 
So who's gonna have the who's gonna have the balls to make a move here? Gray did. He doesn't have much except petards, that's the problem. He really needs to have conquistadors, maybe, because he's Spanish. Oh, sorry, I needed to stretch. I think he could go for heavy cavalry just to snipe kings. Because they're affected by ballistics. Well, we chose Pilgrims because we knew it'd be eventful. But when we choose Pilgrims, we know it'll be a long game, so... Yes. I think that's what we're in the middle of right now. Whoa! Heartless move from Sally, deleting the Halberdiers. <laughs> uh, I think that's because Sally wants more navy. And what's this? Does he have more monks with relics here? So I'd like to remind you guys that this is standard victory conditions, standard win conditions. So a wonder could be built at any point. And also relic victory is possible. Now, earlier, Blue Coffee collected the relics from the mainland. He transported his monks to this monastery. And now he got two more. Now he needs to put them he needs to put the relics in the monastery. But four relics is good. So red has the other one, and it's way down here, and I believe blue's allied with him, so yeah, blue coffee can see that. Oh! 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 Rickster! Sally says poor yellow before Rickster even sees. <laughs> I doubt I doubt Rickster knows. Oh, what a way to find out. What a way to find out. The king's right there, and the king just gets exploded. Oh, what a way to end. What a way to end in red hair with the snipe. He said, what happened, GG? He's acting like he didn't do it. I love that. I love that. And Blue Coffee says, Orange, we are only two at sea. We need to be close. Blue Coffee is scheming now that one there's one less person to kill. He's scheming on how to get this to be another Blue Coffee victory. That was an awesome snipe, though. I think he exploded through the trees, or maybe he chopped through. That was sneaky. And Rickster did have gold. He lied to Blue Coffee, so... I wonder if Blue Coffee will be able to get this relic. Blue Coffee says maybe we can get gray. So it's Blue Coffee and Sally at the moment. And I think they could get gray. And then gray is allied with everybody? Everybody that's alive, he is allied with. So, I mean, earlier he was attacking purple, so maybe... <clears throat> excuse me, he'll have to fight purple, but purple's on the other side of the map. Man, where do these hiccups come from? Jeez. What's in there? Oh, petards and cab archers for Sally. Okay. Jeez, these yes. hiccups. <laughs> I don't know where these came from. I'm sorry. Petard train from Gray. Yes. And he could be going for anyone. Oh, and, and you know what? Sally, who's just talking to Blue Coffee like her friends, is now talking to Red. And Sally says, Blue's Navy is freaking me out. So I think they might go for, yes. for Blue Coffee instead. Sally could just be <clears throat> tricking Blue Coffee here. He's just passing with Batards. So this is a guy he's allied to. And he's running right through with his Batards. Still killing stuff. But, okay, he set him to enemy, I guess. Still killing stuff, but he needs something else, and he doesn't have a lot of gold. Just passing. Hold on, this chat is really interesting. It's... Sally said, T90 will be sad if Blue Coffee dies, though. I could distract on C and you snipe, is that okay? Red has not responded. So red hair and orange seem to be a true alliance. 
Whereas Blue Coffee thinks he's in an alliance, but I don't think they trust him. No. No. What is this? <laughs> Why does Snippy have bills here? He said, may I take that gold? I love you. <laughs> With four villagers, how does Red even see that? And Red says, all right. <laughs> <laughs> because T90 love. All right, all right. Red has a few rams and pikes. No. Blue base has an orange army in it. Am I missing something? Blue base has an orange army in it. What army are you talking about? May have one relic. Or gold. Uh Blue Coffee wants the relic, man. He wants the relic. I've only got one blue. Blue Coffee, say you don't have any. Say, how are you going to get this? He says, oh, well. Then may I have it. <laughs> if Blue Coffee gets this, takes it to his island here... He will start the countdown yes. for a relic victory, and then he will put everything he can into defending this. Now, I, I don't think that's a likely way to win here. I really don't. But, um, you know what's interesting is he doesn't have the relics in the monastery. He has his monks in the tower still, so he's not even getting the gold from it. That's weird. But uh, regardless, if he can get this from red, I'll be impressed. What he could do is he could... Um, can you delete petards next to your allies' buildings and explode them? Maybe not. Maybe make a Maganel and attack ground to that? Hmm. I don't know. There's potential. Can you convert monastery? Well, you can't as an ally. I was thinking maybe... He turns on him for a second, but that would be a bad idea. Red hair says you cannot take this blue. It's my only income. I need it. Which is actually truthful. Red hair is telling the truth. So. No. Ooh. Sally speaking to Red says, can you tell me where Purple's king is? Red signals it and Purple must have got that notification and he said no. And right here says, I'm trading with purple. We are buddies. Well, you're buddies with the wrong guy. That's the problem. Be unique, okay? Be your own man. Don't just follow the cool kids. Yeah, see, Sally says you could trade with me. Hmm. Very silent. Very, very silent. I guess this is a good time to catch up with some of the alerts here. Uh, Let's Kete, thank you for the, the new sub. I gave a shout out to Tato, I saw that. Uh, Trazkin, thank you for three. And Sipes, what's up, man? He said just passing. Dude, we have Blue Coffee himself right here. Thank you for 14 on tier two. Ah! <gasps> Sally, how the, Sally kills him. Oh my god! How did he get in there? I thought the whole shoreline was blocked off! Did he- No! Did he transport over the wall? He did! Oh my god! Let's get the T90 hack spam going! He freaking transported over the wall! He glitched through! He freaking glitched through! And uh, Blue Coffee signals and says, leave me alone because he sees the Navy from Sally. Unbelievable. Oh, I, I'm very torn because Kathorian had the game plan down pat. Kathorian knew that if he walled up the shoreline, no one could transport in. Now, it is possible that Sally, because obviously Sally had petards to kill that uh, castle. It's possible Sally could transport on the other side of the wall and then busted through this hole. I'm, I'm not too sure. I think that yes. might be more likely, but he did just 
glitch through the wall to get back in the transport. So normally getting back in the transport is more difficult with a glitch than uh, getting out. So I believe he could have done either. But uh, that's a, a ballsy move there. I, I would really love it for someone to kill these turkeys because they keep changing hands and I keep getting that noise when, <laughs> when blue coffee controls the turkeys. It's just a small thing though. Uh, what a game we have here. And there are four remaining now. Blue Coffee says... Wait. Gray says, Blue, how many resources do you have? And Blue Coffee says, Me? Shit, I have. Which is not totally truthful, but I... I don't think his resources are as good as... Well, I take that back. Maybe his resources are better than Gray's. Um, slightly better than reds, actually, and orange probably has 10k of everything still. Yeah, he does. Hi. It would be wise to make yourself seem vulnerable here, because then people would feel bad if they snipe you. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. So, <laughs> Sally says he doesn't have wood because he doesn't have mainland's control, but he's full of shit. <laughs> he's full of shit. He has over 30,000... Wood. And they sent him wood to be nice. But he didn't really need it. That's funny. <laughs> but Gray and Blue Coffee sent him wood. Blue Coffee is 15k and Gray is 3k. So I guess Gray, he sent him way more. He sent him a higher percentage. Kath says, T90 official, I was just about to move my king away from water. Oh man. I feel bad for you, but at the same time, that snipe was impressive, so... I don't know. Uh, whoever's allied with purple is deleting the trade cogs that he had here. No, sorry, Kath, look away. Yes. Something else is going down for you. But, uh, smart. It makes the trade a bit more efficient. And Red Hair says, guys... Yes. I don't think he was trying to talk to Blue Coffee there, but he did so by mistake. Blue Coffee says, hi, what's up? And Red is trying to get everyone to turn on Blue Coffee. If that happens... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Blue Coffee can survive. Red Air says, They say, never meet your heroes. Well, I am not disappointed. And then he changes Blue Coffee to enemy! Yes. Oh man, what a line. What a line to say before the action. And now Gray is turning on Blue Coffee too. They know he's a legend. They know he wins games. And now he will lose everything. He'll lose his trade. He'll lose his economy. I'm gonna remove the overlay now because it's bugged out after that. I just don't want it to be in the way. I'm torn, guys. I'm really torn. Because I think Blue Coffee has had an admiral, admirable display here. He's he played with respect. He can't really snipe Gray. He, he can't really snipe Red. Uh, I mean, one thing I'll say is that Blue Coffee has been playing to just outlive others. He hasn't really gone for snipes, I guess, so... Oh, um, ni nice quick wall. Nice quick wall. But, I don't know. As I said, I, I don't think Blue Coffee wins off of excellent gameplay. He's a good player, but I don't think he wins off of excellent gameplay. I believe he wins off of diplomacy. Now, Orange is not involved in this at all, as far as I know. Orange is still allied with Blue Coffee, yes. He said, can you signal Grey King? He said, I swear I cannot use treason for some reason. So this would be where Blue Coffee would signal that the King is here. Now, remember last time Orange went for the transport. He said, we need to be close, they own land. So, Blue Coffee still has one friend. And you see how he has a fake transport here as well? I love that. His king is actually... Oh! Whoa, his king is on another island. <laughs> but, um, you know, it looks to others like this king would be in here. Red Hair says... I gotta kill blue. Well, red hair, I don't think you're going to. Not anytime soon. 
The Gray loses a few castles, but he can handle that. Yeah, Blue Coffee, guys, he has his king here. He's just transported him to the Far Islands. <clears throat> and uh, this transport has a cavalier in it. <laughs> so it's a, it's a fake. This is good for Gray, man. Assuming he stays allied to Red, he could trade to the corner with Spanish trade. And Spanish are a fantastic sieve for this. They just need the gold. And Gray has played pretty well this game. He thought he was dead earlier because he tried to attack Blue Coffee in the first third of the game, or the first quarter of the game, I guess. But he'll be okay now. I think Blue Coffee will lose everything on land eventually if this keeps up. So what will Blue Coffee do from here? That's the question. And I don't know the answer. He still has a few villagers around. But... I mean, Purple's side of the map is kind of useless to anyone who's enemied against purple because it'll take hours to clean up all this this base but sally's here so sally has relocated his king here that's a smart move actually sally's snipe was so good that purple didn't have a chance to change sally to enemy because he didn't see it so this is kind of a safe haven for sally i think if i were to favor anyone in this game it'd be sally by far so many resources he has water control as well Blue Coffee says hi, but he does not turn because that is not a king. He said, sorry, these are just fills, which is not true, but it's not going towards Blue Coffee, I guess. Oh, boy. Why? I've been yawning a lot lately. I don't know what it is. It's not the content, I can tell you that much. The content has been good. Sally says again, can you ping Grey King? My reason seems to be bugged. So he's trying to say treason there. And treason would show King locations. And he wants to kill Grey. Now, someone in the chat said that Grey doesn't have resources, so he'll probably lose. Not necessarily true. For now, certainly. But if he's given the time, he could easily trade with multiple people. And he has Spanish trade as well, so I think there's still an opportunity for him. He has so much space now as well. Red wants to know where Blue Coffee's king is. Red hair is Vikings, so if he needs to go to water, he won't have any complaints about that. <laughs> but then again, Blue Coffee <laughs> has... Uh, is a lot of his own navy out here. Oh, treason is bugged. I see. That's smart. Treason is not bugged yes. for him. He doesn't have any enemies. That's what it is. Smart thinking from Orange to say that he doesn't have any enemies. Or to say that his treason is bugged. That's why he can't see where enemy kings are. Because he sees everything. So he doesn't get that alert. So it's got to be one of these castles, though. It's not a hard guess. <laughs> There's nothing garrisoned here, so it's got to be one of those castles. I think he knows. He has cav archers and he's making petards. Yeah, I think he knows. And I just heard some ships sinking, so I think he's deleting some of his ships for pop space. What's Blue Coffee going to do now? Well, let's check the king locations quickly. Red, his king is in this castle in the south. Blue Coffee, his king is next to this castle. I mean, he has, he's trying to get all the islands, right? So it's to one of his northern islands. He has three at the moment. And he has a lot of fakes and everything. He's, he's thought about this. Uh, we talked about Orange. Orange has his king here, and he's currently walling that up. Something that Blue Coffee would be able to see, by the way, because he's allied with Orange. And then Gray's king is in this castle. So, pretty much all around the map. One's on water, three are on land. If the mainland is a heart, on the right side of the heart we have Gray. The, the tip of the heart, bottom of the heart we have Red Hair. And then the western side of the heart is Sally. Yeah, this is true, Filster. He might not know. It's possible he doesn't know he can't research treason in this situation. 
But I think that it would be good to give him credit for mind games. He said, all right, going. Wish me luck. 50-50. Yes. Shh, don't say anything. Don't say anything. He says 50-50. And the king's in there. He got the right one. Can he kill it? Oh, wait. <laughs> I I got the wrong one. That was a monk. <laughs> that was a monk. Why did I think that was a king? <laughs> it even tricked me. That's funny. <laughs> it even tricked me. I was like, oh yeah, he got it. He got it. That king's lost weight and he also is balding, but uh, that's it. That's it right there. My bad. Yeah, so he said 50-50 because he didn't know what castle it was. He did research treason a bunch of times after he changed him to enemy, but uh... Anyway, that makes it interesting. I'd like to see Gray stay in this game. As long as he trades a little bit, I think he could win. Oh, what is this? Alright, so Blue... Blue Coffee's gonna freaking do it again, guys. He's gonna do it again. He's going to control all the islands he can, and he'll go for a wonder, I believe. Man, imagine if Blue Coffee would have got that relic. It's almost impossible for him now, but if he if he could get this relic, I'd like to remind you guys, Blue Coffee. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, he's he's relocating his monasteries as well. So this has been a two-hour game, but his main focus has not been on king sniping. It's been getting the relics, and I believe, yeah, all the monks with relics are in this transport now. There's five on the map. One is left and is with red hair. If Blue Coffee gets this island, he can trade from a further distance on water or he could just build more keeps. <clears throat> so this is where I get kind of torn on who to root for. Um, Because I like Blue Coffee and all, but he hasn't been all that active. That's part of his strategy choice. But I tend to root for the more active players, because they're doing more. Orange just went for a snipe, but he still has 16,000 gold. And Red Hair, this guy, has taken multiple fights versus multiple people in this game. And he says, I only left my bed and my mom. I'm sorry, Gray. And Gray's King is in here. Grace King could die. It will go into this castle. So let's see. If this castle goes down, the king transfers, or should transfer. Oh! Where's it going? Yes. I thought it was supposed to go in this castle. Gray's gonna die. Wow. Red hair has the score lead, and he kills Gray. Gray's markets are still up, so Red could trade with that. This is a great situation for Red Hair. And Red Hair is now creating more petards. And Blue Coffee says, So time to finish Red, then we fight like a real man. Hmm, so Red is top score. Red just killed somebody. So logic would tell you that they should fight against Red. I don't know if Sally's yes. totally convinced here. Sally says, we need land. Yes, you do need land, but you have land. Sally is acting as if he's naive when I... I think he knows damn well that he could get access to land, because he has stuff here. Yeah, Blue Coffee says, you this side, me this side. We good. So he's kind of letting... Yes. He's, he's letting Orange know that he knows he's there. <laughs> but Orange also ha can build up here. This gets kind of complicated for Red. I don't know how he can take the islands. So... He could kill Orange's king on the left-hand side. He can't afford to research trees in here. There's another go on. I'm sorry. Woo! But, um... He's currently allied with Orange, so I guess he <laughs> won't know for sure the king is there. Yeah, exactly. Fast ETK. Orange is trying to be allied with as many people as possible for as long as possible.
So Red Hair and, and Sally are having conversation, and Sally said, can you please repeat that? Because he's tr can't keep track of both the side combos he's having. Dude, all that hair needs to do is build a wonder. I agree. I agree. Build a wonder. He can't get the relics, obviously. If he builds a wonder, that could work. He has the corner. He could build it right here. He just needs some gold and he needs some stone. Hmm. We'll see. I'm Mikulin. Thank you for the brand new Prime Sub, my friend. Welcome. <clears throat> so we have three people left. We have the Legend of Blue Coffee, we have Sally, and we have Red Hair. Who's chat rooting for? Sally is going with a naive approach, or acting as if he's naive. And it's obviously not the case. He's being friends with both people intentionally. Uh, Blue Coffee, he has a nice strategy. He has a nice strategy, and I believe he'll go for snipes on orange soon. So, he thought about the relics, he can't really do that at the moment. Why? I guess he forgot about these two monks that are in that transport. But his king is safe. Red hair, okay. Rooting for red, he seems active. Yeah, he is very active, I agree. But at the same time, he's also benefiting from being very passive early on because he was not fighting anyone for a long, long time. But he's smart. He says... You are going to betray me, Orange. See, Sally's acting like he didn't see stuff. Says, you saw it. You are going to betray me, Orange. Why? I thought we were brothers. And Sally says, dude, I'm as, as I'm <laughs> confused as hell. Thanks, I need pop space badly. I don't believe him, but he seems so believable. I mean, obviously we know that he doesn't need pop space, right? He's acting like he needs pop space now. So right after he says he's confused, he says something like that. I... I I think this is part of Sally's plan, and it's working. He does not want Red to turn on him. I mean, Red is going right towards where Orange has his, uh, his king. And in fact, Orange has ungarrisoned his king. What Red Hair needs to do, he needs to ally, or sorry, enemy purple, blow through the walls and go after the king. And I think Sally sees this. And does Sally have a transport close by? Because if not, he could die. He says, Red, Red, do not do that. <laughs> okay, Sally changes him to enemy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Blue Coffee says, Run. I protect your king. Now, I don't believe Blue Coffee either. I don't think Blue Coffee really wants to protect the king. Okay, there's a transport. So, this was going to be a sniping army. There's petards in here. There's cav archers. Uh, now the king's in here. And Snippy has... Or, sorry, not Snippy. Abu Coffee has to see this. He says, okay, we finish red. Should he kill this transport? I don't think he should. I don't think he should, honestly. Because then it's just a 1v1 versus red. And it... Who knows how that would play out. But if he actually has orange on his side, it might help him. So, I guess smart thinking to not snipe that. And Blue Coffee says we deal the red. So, Blue Coffee is being truthful. Yeah, but at the same time, if Blue Coffee would have killed that, he would have all of the water to himself. And he still has land control here. Whereas red would have no water... And he'd have only land control. But at least now Blue Coffee knows where Orange has his king. So it's not like he can't go back for it later on. So the fight is on now. And, and Red Hair, you know, he probably should have docked first. I think if he would have docked prior to the snipe had some navy prior to the snipe attempt, it would have worked out much better for him. Because, okay, he has this dock here, which is nice. But, I don't know, now he's unable to get on water. Red hair says, 
So Sally says red Y. Red hair says you saw blue orange. You were planning on betraying me. Gray's four plus four militia kills me. I did not, but now you leave me with no choice. That's that's a bunch of BS. <laughs> that's a bunch of BS from Sally, but I love it. So Sally officially turns on red. Yes. And red's king is all the way down here, right? Yeah. He says Gray's four plus four infantry kills me. Yeah, okay. Okay. He could be, be being truthful, but based off his position, I don't see how the, any, like a lot of this is truthful because he's in a commanding position. But it's smart for him to act like he's not in a commanding position. Very smart, actually. And Blue Coffee is trying to protect his trade by killing Red's dock, and if he kills Red's one single dock, then uh, Red can no longer produce units. What's funny is that, that Sally's actually trading with that dock, despite them being against each other now. Wild game here. Wild game. Kat says they're never going to get Red because neither Blue Coffee or Sally wants to destroy ships for land troops to beat Red's army. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and here's the deal. Because they only have so much pop space, one of them has to go for land. One of them has to go for land, right? So, Orange would have to say, okay, I'll go land, and I'll delete 50 ships, which would be protecting my king, my king's right out here on water. Of course he's not going to do that. Because then Blue Coffee would just snipe him. So, what Red needs to do, is he needs to build a wonder. Yes. Build a wonder, and then they're forced to come to you. That's why I have it on standard now. When we do this map, because we get into these situations, uh, without standard victory conditions, it would just... It would never end. But if he builds a wonder, then they have to come towards him. So... That's what I'm hoping. But, I have a feeling that... Yeah. I keep wanting to say snippy because of the snipes, but... I have a feeling that Blue Coffee will be soon trying to snipe. And I genuinely don't understand why he has these two monks with the relics inside the tower. Is there a reason for that, Chad? No. Gray's units are killing me, red hair. Ping King of Blue, do it, thanks. Digi blue, I gave you gold blue. I want you to know that orange will betray you. And blue coffee says, I won't betray orange until you die or give me gold. <laughs> Red says, is that so? <laughs> That's fighting talk. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> blue coffee straight up tells him. It's like, no, I won't turn on orange unless you die or give me gold. <laughs> Red's like, oh really? I will kill you now. <laughs> That's amazing. He says, I am the red hair. I'm a horse. Which doesn't make too much sense because you're a hair. You're not a horse. He says, this is my legend, Blue. You had your turn already. Alright. So he wants, to, he wants to be the next legend, apparently. This is my time to shine. So here's the problem. Red hair has just said he wants to be the next legend. Blue Coffee has had his turn. He says, shine bright like a diamond, a diamond in the sky, Rihanna. <laughs> oh my god. Caps locks for the dramatic effect. The the voice that reads things in my brain is just screaming because of him. But, uh, but here's the problem. He's just said those things, and if he dies, it will be one of the most epic fails ever. Because he's in a great position. He's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Blue Coffee, and he says he's going to dismantle Blue Coffee. Uh, <clears throat> or dethrone Blue Coffee. But if he dies now, <laughs> it's just that much more embarrassing, right? <laughs> Red Hair was a war horse from Three Kingdoms period in China. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know that's what it was referencing. I didn't know that, so. It's just weird. He's like, I am Red Hair. I am a horse. I need to brush up on my history, apparently. I'm one of those guys that really appreciates history, really likes history, but I, I will not act like I know too much about it. 
So Sally has Cav Archers and Petards, both of which are pretty fast. Um, Sally is now against red, by the way. Apparently. Um, yes. So... He could make it down here, that's the thing. He could get there with petards. It's possible. He also has more than enough resources to research trees now. Orange is the only one moving right now, and he's moving with his navy back towards where his king used to be. Where is his king now? Yeah, it's in this castle. Okay. So earlier, Blue Coffee had a few Bombard Cannons, but I think they're here defensively. Again, it's very confusing to me why he hasn't put the relics in the monastery. Now he has three. He still has one of these monks with a relic in their hands. Which is odd. Um, Blue Coffee was the host. He has petards in here. Okay. Blue Coffee was the host. I told Blue Coffee to do standard victory. He, of all people, would have done that for the wonder potential. So, Filster, I am pretty damn sure. Yes. So Sally's just come out here maybe to clean up the buildings. Oh, actually, does he? Oh, look at that. He doesn't know Red has a dock out here. He wanted to kill Red's dock, I guess. No. But he didn't know about this dock. And Red has a lot of longboats. And the king is now on the move for Orange. Red hair says, leave my houses alone. I need those. No room on mainland. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So, the transport is moving this way, right by Blue Coffee's ships. Like, right through them. It's a slalom here. This is like a training drill for transports. In, out, in, out. I guess he's going back down here. Hmm. Reaper says, T90 official, I think he did not put them in the monastery because he probably thought he might... Get the fifth one with diplomatic means. So if someone would have put the last relic in his monastery the time Oh, that's a good point actually That's a good point. Maybe he thought that if he was allied with someone <clears throat> Who had the other relic it would alert people that he had that many. That's a good point. That's the only explanation I can think of Okay, so Blue coffee has just changed. This is really interesting timing. Wait, hold on a second. Oh! Wait, did I miss chat? Blue Coffee changed orange to enemy. He also changed red to enemy. And orange and red are best buds again. Blue Coffee a moment ago let the king pass for Sally. And red hair says, I told you, Blue. And Sally says, I am red's best buddy. Now, this could play out really interesting. If, if orange were to send this transport... While all this is going down to Red's base, so we'll keep an eye on that. And they are now signaling the correct area, the area where Blue Coffee has his king. And the sad thing is, Blue Coffee doesn't have houses, guys. That That's the crazy thing about this. He's at 160 population. He'll lose this house, he'll lose all the houses, and he will not have population space. So he needs to scramble up some houses quickly. I don't think they can kill him, though. His king is in that tower. I don't think they can kill him. With the turtles, with the towers, and with the galleons, I don't see them killing him just yet. And this might be another opportunity for Orange to go out for a snipe. Blue Coffee, he can't really do anything because Orange now does not have his king. Uh, wait. Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> that one cavalier was chasing, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Blue Coffee actually went for it. Oh, would that have been epic or what? But uh, anyway, so he has no control in the mainland. Blue Coffee. Very close attempt. He's signaling where the king is to let Red Hair know. So Red Hair needs to uh, decide on if he wants to be faithful to Sally, who's not been completely faithful to him this game. Ooh! Ooh! And Red Hair was thinking about it, at least. Oh, this is interesting, because all of these buildings can be deleted. <laughs> this is hilarious. 
This is hilarious. There's nothing Orange can really do about this. He can't hide in any buildings. <laughs> <laughs> because red hair can just delete them. Oh, the quick wall from Sally. That was sick quick wall. But here comes, here comes blue coffee to help. Blue coffee can just explode the walls. Explode the walls, man. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So orange loops back around, but again, red can delete this because that was his ally. Blue coffee says, I have petards, ally me. And Red Hair says, everyone wants to be my friends now. Well, don't let it boost your ego up that much, Red Hair. It's just that they he wants to kill Orange. Oh, the, ki the king's right there. He has him trapped. He has him trapped. What are you doing? Red Hair, what are you doing, dude? Get on your horse and kill the king. The That's fine. It's fine. I, I guess he had changed him back to ally. And now he is going to focus here, I imagine. And meanwhile, you know, this could play out very good for Blue Coffee yet again. If he remembers, he could build a wonder. Because Orange is distracted, so Orange will probably lose his island here. Where is that king at for Orange? Uh, here it is. I mean, he's making champions now. So I think he'll be able to keep his king alive. Blue Coffee and Orange are now allied. And now Sally says, I trusted you, Red. I trusted you. And Red says, I'm sorry, bro. Someone has to win. <laughs> and now Blue Coffee, this is what he wanted all along. He says, now we kill Red. This is what he wanted not too long ago. Okay. Uh, we know where the king is. Oh, the petards. The petards on champions, that's so sick. That is so sick. Wait, is Red even... Yeah, it's kind of confusing. It's hard to track this stuff, but... He is enemy to... To Sally. Oh, and Sally's TC is so close to going down, too. I don't think Sally can save his TC. He almost needs to repair this. He might be able to kill a few of the Berserks, but I think the Berserks can still... Okay, maybe not. He's taking the fight. I thought he could have just committed towards the town center. I swear to you guys, if Blue Coffee just buys stone and builds a wonder now, I, I guess he'd have to turn on Orange completely, but if he builds a wonder on one of these back islands, this will be so good for him. However... You don't want to build it too early. Orange still has resources, and Red obviously can still play, so... You probably want to wait to make that decision until one person dies. Morgo says, hello and good evening, guys. Just arrived at this Voobly or HD games. This is on Voobly, my friends. Uh, I yes. will be doing all my community games on Voobly from here on out. Blue Coffee's asking for wood. He says he has 1,000 left. Yes. Which is true. Ish. Yes. Sally? He has plenty of wood. He should probably see a doctor. That's going to last longer than four hours. And Red Hair is not having any issues with that either. Red Hair says, I have 36k gold left. I can go all night. Give up. Surrender to me. And that is not true. <laughs> Blue, Blue Coffee says, we'll just finish Red yes. so he stops talking. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I love the chat in this game. <laughs> uh, freaking community games, man. Yo, I missed Ornly. Thank you for the host, man. I've been so focused here. To all of Ornly's viewers, welcome. I'm sure chat spam salutes not too long ago. I've been really focused on these games today. It's been a good time. Uh, thank you for hosting the stream, man. And for those just getting here, I'm sure you figured it out by now, but you're getting here when there's three people left in a Pilgrim's Diplomacy Regicide game. I love how Purple just has all these dead spectators. Eh, just, just chilling out. Allied to both of them. They're just in the way. No. 
I, I really wish that guys would use petards more often. Red's using them a lot, but I would love to see more use of the petards from uh, Orange. He has a castle here. We must be careful, because his king is inside that castle. Boom! Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, just, just send your petards in and go after the castle if you're Red. The trouble is Red has to send all this in waves, because he has no forward production buildings. What's Blue Coffee up to, guys? He has not purchased stone. He is uh, still trading. What's the price? Yeah, to buy stone, it's not that bad. It's 300 gold per 100 stone. Blue Coffee is trying to save wood yes. or uh, get wood for food. So they're bartering. Hmm. This is quite a long game. We're three hours now. And all of these guys are incredibly stubborn. The red hair has already shown us that he's not going to give up without a fight. He said he could go all night. And blue coffee's blue coffee. Oh my goodness, yes. these champions! <laughs> these champions don't stand a chance! And the king runs! Red can see that because he's allied with purple, so he can see all of this. All this space. I didn't think about that actually. The blue coffee genuinely wants orange to survive so they can kill red. I, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, and that king is fortunate. Great game here. Oh! Oh, will the petard make it? No. <laughs> No, he will not. The king's back to the castle anyhow. Uh, I keep thinking blue coffee is going to be building up on land, but as you can see on the mini-map, the military map, it's all water for blue coffee. He's upgrading Hussar, though. You know what would be so sick? Is if blue coffee could not only snipe the king of red, but he could get this... Um, this relic because that's the one thing he's kept a secret it's fairly obvious when people are going for snipes that's no surprise here but what is a surprise is that blue coffee has had control of four of the relics for most of this game and it was not easy for him to get them he started off with zero he got one from gray in a deal he made he got another one from i'm not sure where the other one was actually i just know he ended up with two and then he stole two from uh, who did he kill for that? Was it yellow? I think it was yellow. So he's been paying close attention to it. Snippy bought stone. Thank you, chat. And now he has 1,000 stone. To build a wonder, you need 1,000 wood, 1,000 gold, and 1,000 stone. That is just enough. And he has cleared up this island. And guys... Did I say Snippy again? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say Snippy. Sorry, Snippy. <laughs> Guys, uh, it's Blue Coffee. He's been distracting his ally, I think, and talking about cutting here, uh, maybe building up stables, saying he's going to go Hussars, which he is. He's definitely making this believable. Honestly, the second Blue Coffee starts building that wonder, no one should trust him. Uh, and so the timing of that has to be good. If you were to build it now, red and orange would make up, I'm sure. So that's why he's waited so long. He's just waited for this situation. He's waited three hours of game time for this situation. So, how many people in the Twitch chat have not heard the story of when I met Blue Coffee and started talking to him and, and learned about him? <clears throat> Because even before his first game on my stream, I had a conversation with him. Alright, so a lot of you haven't. Alright, so here's the deal. So, a while back, I had an event called Regicide Rumble, uh, which I will do again at some point. I've just been overwhelmed with trying to do so much. So, it's a Regicide free-for-all event that happens on a weekend. There's a... There's, the first game is from lower-rated subscribers. The mid-game was from, at the time, I believe... 1600 to 1800 on Vubly, and then the last game was for 2k plus so we did have a game with pros etc 
So when people were signing up, I had this random guy who had never heard of before named Blue Coffee. And Blue Coffee had messaged me and he said, listen, I'm 1900 team game rate, but I'm not 1900 skill. The only reason I'm 1900 team game rate is because I play Lands Nomad free for alls only, and you can actually rate those on Voobly. So when you win one of those, you get like 50 points or something. I don't know exactly, but you get a lot of points because you're versus seven others. And I looked at his profile, and he had games where he had played just that week for over eight hours game time. Not fast speed, not turbo, not diplomacy, standard free-for-all lands nomad. And if you've ever seen those games, it just turns into complete trash spam fest. Like, eight hours game time. And he had plenty of games like that. So, I was immediately interested because... You know, he, he messaged me, he said, look, I like free-for-alls, but I'm not going to be as good as these these other 1800s on Voobly. Can I go to the lower qualifier? And I said no, <laughs> because it just wouldn't be fair. And uh, he ended up becoming a legend in the game he played with the uh, higher-rated players. So that's where Blue Coffee came from. I, I, I thought that was interesting before I even saw him play. And then he had the best, he didn't win, but he had the, the funniest tactics in that game. And here we are, he's cleared out most of the islands, and it's just a matter of time until he builds a wonder here. But it's all pending on how this goes between orange and red. I think we're definitely at the point now where orange would would want to say to red, listen, is blue coffee even doing anything? Because if he's not, we need to turn on him. But blue coffee is doing something. He's sending an SO and hussars, and he wants to, to cut through here, I guess. Uh, what does he see? He knows about all of this. He really wants that relic, I'm sure. It would just be hilarious if he gets it. That's the hardest spot to get. Most of his base is in the north on the sea. And if he were to get this relic in the, in the south southern corner on land, that would be pretty insane. Have you ever thought about running a community free-for-all tournament? Well, that's kind of what Regicide Rumble is. So... I do promise you guys, it's something I plan on continuing in the future, but I have something else in the works right now, which uh, is more important. Blue Coffee says, is your king safe? Uh, good question, actually. Yes. Uh, I believe his king is very safe, Orange. Yes, his king is still in this castle. Blue Coffee said, don't want to 1v1 him. <laughs> Which is true, um, he probably doesn't want to go on land entirely, so he's hoping Orange will kill Red Hair. Whoa, how did Red Hair get to 50 popula- 50 population? He's dead. He- he's actually dead. I didn't even consider that he had the resources, but he didn't have the, uh, the economy. So, he had resources banked up, but once he lost his numbers, he didn't have anything remaining except some food and wood. Yeah, it's funny. He's been really silent as well. You notice how, like, he was saying all those things? Like, I don't want you guys, however this game ends, I don't want you guys to give Red Hair a, a hard time. Uh, it's It's been really fun to watch him play, right? <clears throat> but I did say, you know, he was saying this is my time. I'm going to dethrone Blue Coffee. And he says, all this time of quietness, right after I said, he said, sorry, I was AFK. Went, <laughs> went for a poop. Uh, maybe that's believable, I don't know. But, uh, whether he went for a poop or he was here the entire time, he did say that he was going to dethrone, dethrone Blue Coffee. Now, if he were to dethrone Blue Coffee after going for a poop, that's bragging rights right there. He can only make trash, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brown coffee. <laughs> That's funny. I can't use Vikings at all. No idea what they get, to be honest. Yeah, so he's no longer confident. He realizes he doesn't have gold. And Blue Coffee has seen this castle, and he's going to lose his uh, siege monitors to that castle. I don't think red was AFK. 
because he was building the archer ranges for a while. Scorpion is a very nice addition here, it really is. Uh, it's great for his massed infantry, however, his meat is not very strong. He does not have any champions himself, he just has trash, and that's what champions are built to kill. So I think that this trash will die, the scorpions will die, and pretty soon, Red will probably just call it the GG. I don't know if he'll get killed off, maybe he'll stay in it for a while, but I foresee him calling the GG. He runs away with his king. There's not many areas he can run to. If he runs this way, he runs into orange, so he's trapped here. There's an advantage of being in this corner. The advantage is that it's hard for people to kill you, but you also can't get out. And Whoa! Blue Coffee got Sally! Blue Coffee got Sally! Did anybody see that? Oh my god, of course he did! Of course Blue Coffee did! And a moment ago, he's like, hey, is your king safe? Yeah, my king's safe. He's like, good. <laughs> good, I don't want to have to 1v1 him. Well, get wrecked, bud! Get wrecked! Blue Coffee says, so, I build wonder. I won. He doesn't have space for wonder. Watch, watch Red Hair start building his own wonder. Yeah, Red Hair's dead! Red Hair's dead! Red Hair can't build a wonder. The only thing Red Hair could do now is build a wonder and hope and pray that it doesn't get killed off. And Blue Coffee's saying, listen, I'm going to build one. Wait, is he building it right now? Uh... I thought he might be building it because he doesn't have the stone right now. But anyway, he could build one because he has the gold to purchase the stone. And, um... He'll win. Yeah, Blue Coffee said there is Wonder Victory, indeed. Yeah. He's gonna win this game. And it it's perfect that it comes down to Red Hair and Blue Coffee in the end. Again, no disrespect to Red Hair. He's played really well. He's one of the most entertaining players in this game. I'd love to watch him play. However, he did say that he was going to beat Blue Coffee. And uh, I don't see that happening right now, so. Blue Coffee says, well, seems. I mean, he should just build the wonder, honestly. At least build the wonder. You can try and kill the guy, but start building it. Okay, he's setting Sally to ally. Crazy game here. Oh god, this is not gonna end well for these <laughs> for these units. Oh, uh, that's actually not bad. Great micro or lack of micro from blue coffee, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure what he did with this stone earlier, blue coffee. I uh <clears throat> I assume he sold some or he built more towers. Could have been either. But just looking at the cost now, 327 gold to buy 100 stone. That's costly. He, he might not have enough, but I think he could sell food and, and figure it out. Oh, he built a castle. Ah, this one here? Okay. But he placed the castle. Gotcha. He hasn't built it just yet. Give, give gold and I'll let you live for five minutes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I gotta credit Red Hair. He's an entertaining guy. <laughs> he says, give me gold and I'll let you live for five minutes to Blue Coffee, who has a clear advantage. What do you think T90 is talking about in the stream? Ah, uh, we're talking about pineapples. I like pineapples. Blue Coffee says I win. That's what they're talking about. One freaking day, I will win this heart too, yeah. Well, Blue Coffee's doing the right thing going into champions because his opponent's going full trash. It's not T90 Babies, Red Hair. It's T90 Babes, dude. T90 Babies just sounds really weird. Whoa, do you hear all those ships? Oh, trade. <laughs> trade cogs, okay. 
T90 babies is a scary thought. T90 babies is cool with me. How many resources do you have left, Blue? Well, I think you'll find out in a moment. I don't think you need to ask that question. Where's the king? King's right there. Do you think T90 is still casting this? No, I'm not. I, I, I would never. I like how instead of typing the T90 babe emote, chat just went immediately to T90 creep. <laughs> that emote makes me feel uncomfortable, and that's my own face. <laughs> I, I genuinely enjoy these games. I know it was long and whatnot, and it's very tough to do this for so long. Like, apparently red hair went for a poop, and, you know, he... Some players went for breaks and got water in the past. I can't do that, man. I'm talking the whole time. So it's tough. But I do enjoy it. It's fun. But they made it enjoyable with the chat this game. I I did not expect Blue Coffee to snipe Orange. I, I thought that he would just try and fight Orange straight up. <clears throat> after Orange killed Red. That was totally unexpected. I think Red Hair will try with whatever resources he has left, and after this dies, he'll call GG. Or he will suicide his king, one or the other, but uh, he still has resources. He's put three hours of his life into this game, so we'd be fools to tell him he should just resign now. But these champions have full upgrades, at least for Koreans, and they will destroy the pikes. It will not even be close, and the towers will also help out. Blue Coffee, he won the last time he played a few months back with Wonder. This time around, he's going for the standard King Kill to show that he has well-rounded skill set. The only way that Red Hair could do it, and I would love for it to happen, is if he could sneak villagers, just go run north, right? Sneak villagers, build a dock, get a transport, and somehow get to the King. <laughs> I think it's obvious he has not chosen that route but uh, maybe should have gone for it in all honesty he had enough for a lot of petards it's better than just defending yourself like this for however long it takes yeah blue coffee could try for relic victory maybe he just wants the relic and then he won't kill the king blue coffee's definitely r letting red know that <laughs> he has gold but Red has, he has heart. And heart is always a good thing to have as well. Oh, oh, the one petard, that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> that was so good. Three bombard cannons for one petard, that's so good. That's really what Blue Coffee needs. He needs his own petards. Did he build that castle by the way? No, he just placed this here, he forgot about it. He hasn't done anything with it. Uh, Red Hair's king has been its moving further and further back now, so... Blue Coffee only has... Okay, I, it's funny that I looked at this right at, right when he was doing it. That whole time, he could have had four relics. I, I think Reaper was right in his prediction that... Or his guess that Blue Coffee didn't do that because he thought that there could be an allied relic victory triggered. So now he has four relics bringing in gold, so he should be able to keep the production of his units here. It's really just the petards that are pain in the butt. That was a big explosion, too. What a game. What a game. Uh, Grim, earlier you were posting a poll on predictions. If you're still there, Grim. If you have that poll, could you link it again, or if anybody has it? Because if you have that, I'm curious to see what people's predictions were. Red hair now wants a draw. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. Good luck with that. I think uh, if Blue Coffee went for some skirms, lots of skirms, maybe try picking off the uh, the petards before they're getting close. All right, let's look at this poll. So 
I guess no surprise because Blue Coffee's the biggest name here. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. There you go. So we didn't have the whole stream voting, of course, because it was just posted in the Twitch chat, but uh, 38 votes for Blue Coffee. And now <laughs> suddenly there's more people voting for Blue Coffee. Oh, imagine that. Imagine that. All right, let's get back into the game. Is A28 still here, by the way? I would feel really bad. This game's gone on for a while, and he gifted so many subs earlier. I'd feel really bad if he didn't get to see his nothing games, which is what the plan is next. Okay, cool. Dude, A28, thank you again from earlier. I, I mean, at this point, I'm just you just leave me speechless. <laughs> this is smart from, from Blue Coffee to cut through. I would love for Coffee to just get the relic. <laughs> if if Blue Coffee just gets the relic, that would be amazing. <laughs> I I want him to do it. I don't want him to kill the king. <laughs> I just want him to get the relic. Oh god, that'd be so good. Now, Red, he might not have the wood now. But I still think it would have been better. And it's easier to be to have an imagination when you can see everything, but I would have liked to have seen him try and dock. If he ran to the north, he sure, he would have encountered these ships, but maybe he could have been here, docked, sent in skirms and batards, and killed Blue Coffee. I mean, that would have been quite a snipe. I highly doubt that, though. Highly doubt that will happen now. Woo woo woo, I can't sub, I don't know why. Next game, forest, nothing. We will do some nothing maps next, man. We will. Uh, Frank, thank you for gifting a few subs, and Alim Finning, thank you for the five, dude. Uh, it's weird you can't sub. If you're using PayPal to donate, you should be able to use PayPal to sub as well, but regardless, man, really appreciate you being here, and thanks for the support. Blue Coffee sees the petards are there. He just wants the relic. Does he have a monk here? I guess he can always create one. Alright. Oh, don't waste the batards on two hussars. That's not bad, not bad. What's up, Team Night Official? It's been a wild summer for me with lots of downs and very little ups, but I'm happy to be back in Twitch chat with you. What's up, man? Sorry to hear that. Dude, I totally understand. I've had those months, I've had those years. But it's glad to have you back, man. One thing I'll say is that time heals all wounds, and uh, if you make small little positive steps every day, man, it really adds up. I've been trying to work on that myself lately. Like, I sometimes you're like, damn, I feel like a piece of shit because of this, or I haven't done this, and you tend, your mind tends to want you to continue to stay in that rut. So just make a little itty bitty changes, little positive changes go a long way if you're just consistent with them, so that's my advice on that blue coffee knows the monastery's there and he's, he's working his way towards it there's really no way blue coffee loses this game red hair has how many bills here uh yeah he has 32 bills and i mean i imagine he will just resign at some point but i said that a while ago Uh, let's see, more messages. Death Cobra says, I wish you could see the end of this game, but sadly I must go pick my partner up from their dad's house. I, w I hope Red Hair somehow pulls this back and wins. That would be amazing. That would be the best community game ever by far if Red Hair could win from this situation. Do I see that happening? No. Would I be upset if it happens? Also no. <laughs> He's just passing by with his king. Uh, which... Oh! Ah! Run the other way, Red Hair! <laughs> oh, the funny thing is, he was typing Never Surrender. He was typing Never Surrender. And then he ran into Yellow Skirms. That could have been bad. Sorry to hear about that kid dying while you were at laser tag. Hope you're not too shaken up by it. What? 
I I did not see anyone die at laser tag. Maybe you're thinking of someone else, or maybe that's a joke that's just gone right past me, man. But uh, thank you. Thank you for the tip, man. Where's that king again? Where's that king again? It's just sitting here. Stealthily. Okay. Yo, Dankin, thank you for the, the five uh, suns. Say welcome, man. Thank you for four months. And Grim, thank you for gifting a lime fan. So that's funny. Grim's just going to gift you a sub now. <laughs> Oh, uh, please get that relic, Blue Coffee. Just complete this game. Get the relic before you kill the king. ETK, what's up, man? Oh, the villagers are trying to run away. Every villager that's dying here represents a month that Elite Teutonic Knight has subbed to the stream. Thank you very much, man. 22 months. That's amazing. Oh! Oh, be careful. You got to be quicker than that. What? Run. He's dead. What a game. Blue coffee. He gets the snipe and he gets another victory. Oh, I'm. I'm running out of words to describe this man. I'm, I'm honestly running out of words. Because, again, this isn't a guy that plays frequently in community games. He's only played four or five times. Um, each one has been a video. And each one has been a victory. So it's not like... And it's at the point now where a majority of people have seen how he plays. But despite multiple individuals trying to kill him here, he was still able to wiggle his way a victory. It's incredible. It's the diplomacy aspect. Again, it's not his gameplay. No offense. It's not your gameplay. You're not Viper. You're not Doubt. You're not Tato. You are Blue Coffee. And I would go as far to say that we need to get Blue Coffee in with the secret players, in with the Aftermath players, in some form of like a regici Regicide Rumble hybrid to see if he's able to trick them. Because... He already killed MBL when MBL played in a game with him. It's just that top players don't play with him. Uh, it's incredible. Incredible. That was a three hour and 35 minute game and that's that's blue coffee for you. So Twitch chat, if we could get some just passings going in the chat for blue coffee and some salutes. Well played blue coffee. Good to have you back, man. Love casting your games. 1600 kills for red hair. He definitely was the more active on the uh, military front. Blue Coffee had more gold. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the Relic Gold was like for him. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Stone and gold was higher than everyone else, so I can only imagine that he was able to get gold piles that I didn't realize uh, throughout the game. I mean, his trade was decent, 21k. But Sally had more trade profit and way less gold in, in total. For the Relic Gold was only 11k, so quick maths tell you that he collected like 30k gold from the map, which is nice. I really think Red Hair's Diplo let him down, but it's so tough to say. It definitely came down to diplomacy. I think Red Hair, you remember the Berserks? Red Hair tried to snipe Sally out in this area of the map here. It was almost too tempting, though. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. Sally was running the king to safety away from Blue Coffee, and Red Hair saw it and went for the snipe. And then pretty much from there, they were against each other, and then once Sally died, it was Blue Coffee versus Red Hair. Mm -hmm. It could have been different. It could have been different. It could have been Red Hair, versus, uh, Red Hair and Sally versus Blue Coffee. But things changed multiple times during that game. I'll go back to the timeline for you. And what a game. So, I'm pretty sure that'll go to YouTube. That was a very long YouTube video. <laughs> very long thing to cast live for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, for those on YouTube, if you'd like to join the Twitch stream at some point, you can click the Twitch link below in the video description. I had probably a dozen people show up to the stream today and say that it was their first time, and hopefully they've enjoyed it. Uh, as well as checking out my Twitter and Facebook and all the social media links if you want to stay involved with the community. Now, I'm going to hang around here for 30 seconds. That way everyone can say hello to YouTube. 
And so Blue Coffee can say, come at me, YouTube. <laughs> and then I will we'll move on to the next game on the Twitch stream. You know what? I think I'm going get to get in on this. I feel left out. There we go. That looks pretty good. <laughs> 